God has become man in Jesus. The infinite God has taken up residence in the finite body of Jesus of Nazareth. And he is still the God-man today and will be for all of eternity. How does that work exactly? I don't know. All that I do know is that the Lord God has revealed to us that he has become man in the person of Jesus of Nazareth, and we shall be like him in the resurrection on the last day, alive forever in the flesh as he intended from the moment that Adam took his very first breath. Plenty of people will argue that point, that God is man in Jesus. It's the old liar, lunatic, or Lord problem. St. John's Gospel has it all. In chapter 8, after Jesus says that he is I am, he gets pushback from the religious leaders. So he says, if I were to say to you that I do not know the Father, I would be a liar like you. And then later in chapter 10, when Jesus talks about being the good shepherd, he's again slandered by the authorities. They say, he has a demon and is insane. Why listen to him? And after the resurrection, there was only one way for Thomas to respond to a bodily risen Jesus standing right there in front of him in chapter 20. My Lord and my God. So is Jesus a liar, a lunatic, or the Lord? He is the Lord, of course. He is God, the God-man, the embodied and enfleshed God who came to earth for us and for our salvation, who set aside his divine glory to rescue us from sin, death, and the devil. Because no man can see God and live, and because we can't do anything to save ourselves, the Son of God tabernacled in the person of Jesus, became the fleshly temple to bring God to us to save us. People the world over resist this idea. You might even doubt that truth from time to time. But the fact stands. The resurrection of Jesus from the dead is the proof that God has become man in Christ for you. And because he is risen, we too shall rise. Thanks be to God for his mercy. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.